Hi all, you are watching Gate Help Line and in this video we will see question number 1 from Gate 2021 CS question paper. So friends question number 1 is from general aptitude and it carries 1 marks. So question number 1 is the ratio of boys to girls in a class is 7 to 3. Among the options below an acceptable value for the total number of students in a class is and the options are A21, B37, C50, D73. So in this question we are asked as we need to tell an acceptable value for the total number of students in the class and the ratio is given to us that is boys to girls that is 7 is to 3. So this is an elementary mathematics question which is given at the gate level. So I think this was the easiest question we had for uh, had in gate 2021 question paper. So let's try to solve this. So let's start the explanation with what is given to us and the options. So given to us is the ratio of boys to girls in a class that is 7 is to 3 and we need to tell the total number of students in a class. So friends, uh, we are already aware about the options that is 21, 37, 50 and 73. So first we will try with the hidden trial methods with the options. So suppose you take 21, then how to uh, identify whether 21 is answer or not. So what we need to do is ratio is given to us. So we will just try to uh, find the multiples of the ratio and will add them. So the first one is 7 plus 3. So 7 plus 3 is 10 which is not in the options. Next is we multiply both sides with 2 and try to find the answer. So if we multiply 2 on both the sides it will be 14 plus 6 which results to 20. So 21 won't be the answer. So A is rejected here. Next is 3. So if you multiply 7 to 3 is 21 and 3 into 3 is 9. So 21 plus 9 that will be 30. So it simply means that 37 won't be the answer. So now we directly jump to 5 and we multiply both the sides with 5. That is 7 into 5 is 35 and 3 into 5 is 15. And if we plus both the sides, it will come as 50. And that satisfied option C. As option C is given as 50. And just for our safety, we will try to find and reject option D as well. So if we go for 6, then 6 7s are 42. And 6 3s are 18. So 42 plus 18 is 60. And that won't satisfy 73. Because if you take and go for 7, that is 7 into 7, it will be 49. And 7 3s are 21. So 49 plus 21 will be 70. So it won't be 73. That simply means C is the correct option. And if you go with the alternate method, that is, what is told in the elementary mathematics that is just take the sum and equate it to the sum multiply by x that is 3 plus 7 is 10 so it will be 10x so x will be the value which is multiple of 10 so among the options only option c that is 50 is multiple of 10 so 10 into 5 is 50 so from this method also we results to option c so the first method is hit and try that you can do in exam if you don't know the elementary mathematics okay and the alternate method is if you remember how the formula we use to calculate the ratio so by using this way the total number of students in the class is 50 so friends answer to this question is option c that is 50 is the acceptable value for the total number of students in the class so friends thanks for watching happy learning if you have any doubts Please comment below.